Hello again, uh, Glenn here from Fairway Financial and I'm here with Rex. Uh, we just did the G&T recording and we were just having such a good chat about uh, our careers. Well, yeah, we're, we, we, we didn't start the GN, but we, it wasn't that good a chat, but we're getting there. Uh, but the point was, is that with our careers of uh, Rex in Mind Matters and talking about the brain and how that works and me as a financial planner, there's a lot of synergies there and, and, and I guess client experiences that we've had in stories that we've gone through together and actually, yeah, um, there's wisdom in those stories as well. Um, and it's interesting uh, with the clients that I've uh, spoken to over the years, the rhetoric that actually comes out in, a, uh, in, in words um, and emotion about finance. Uh, and it's something that a person perhaps has had all their life and then you can see where they're at. Um, and without judgment, of course. Uh, and the rhetoric that I hear from some, some people um, that are coming up to retirement uh, would be, Glenn, you know, we've never really had much money um, or we'll never have a lot. And it's interesting then that you then go through the figures and there's not much there. Uh, and so can you just elaborate a little bit more about how then the mind works and the rhetoric that you say, and then as a financial planner, then I see numbers and it reflects that. Yeah. I'll start really in an <laughs> abstract way. <one. laughs> yeah. Because... Okay. But keep it simple so we understand. I'll keep it simple. Yes, please. Um, everything we are being, right. the way we're being, reflects in every area of our life all the time. Yeah. So, what as in, as in talking and doing? Is yeah, the way we operate, the way we think, our yeah. beliefs is reflected in every area. So, uh, in saying that, it is no surprise to hear you saying, when I look at the numbers and then I listen to the rhetoric, yeah. there is a correlation. Wow. Absolutely. So it also goes to, if people come to me, because they come to me not necessarily for financial problems, although it's part of the equation, yeah. uh, is, is, is what's happening in their lives uh, from a mindset, belief, self-esteem, the way they operate, the careers they've chosen are yeah. all reflective yeah. of their idea of themselves. Yeah. So it's so the rhetoric, the way they talk, the way they frame, um, is connected to the position they are financially at any time in their life. Yeah, um, and well, then some might say, well, then what about opportunity? Like some people have luck and all those sorts of things as well. And it's like, you know, um, you could be the country where you're born and those sorts of things where yeah, sure. they impact. So there's those sorts of things where would it be fair to say that that's a issue as well? Or, or are you saying that it's more the, the, the bulk of it is really how you think, feel, do? I think... Um, linking to the word war or conflict or yep. a really, really appalling event. circumstance yep. event yep. Uh, is uh, Viktor Frankl's book. Okay. Uh, so Viktor Frankl, as a, uh, as a prisoner in Auschwitz for five years, uh, came out obviously affected extraordinarily and yet somewhat intact and resilient. Wow. Uh, and if you look at, listen to him talking about it, the way he created that space within himself to be able to be in a prison camp yeah. uh, survived him. So his resilience and his experience and his survival linked to his attitude, mindset, the way he saw it. Um, and I find that in every circumstance. So somebody comes out of a financial crash. Yeah. Uh, there's the person who rises again, the one that's... The like yourself? <laughs> yes. The one that... <laughs> the rising again is a mindset. Yeah. The falling and staying small is a mindset. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, the running away is a mindset. Yeah. When the business gets to a point where it starts to grow and it becomes challenging yeah. and demanding in an overwhelming sense, there right. are those that say, let's make it small again. I like okay. that. Yeah, right. Um, they keep it... So when we go, this is happening, I've got to change. Yeah. The same with our money's in the situation. I've got to change my story with money. Yeah, yeah. I've got to change my story with relationship. I've got to change my story. My staff are leaving all the time. Oh, yeah. okay, let's have a look at how you do that. Yeah. And, and then it goes, I've got to change my way of relating to my team. Yeah. And everywhere, the same. 
yeah. it's connected. So the rhetoric is connected to the to the result, the circumstance. Yeah, yeah. And then, and and if you if that doesn't change the thoughts or the those habits or the the rhetoric, you'll take it to your grave, won't you? Yes. Because like, like I, I, in my situation, the as the example I was saying is that you, you know you're seeing a person that's just about to retire, and you can see the history of the conversation that they've had. Yeah. Yeah. That is so profound what you said, the history of the conversation they've had. Yeah, okay. And that conversation is internal. Yeah. And the chatter. And, and, and you know, another thing that I observe as well is that it's actually someone else's conversation. So, like a parent. Oh, and then they just take right. that on yeah. in their, like, um, in their, like, life, which is really bizarre. And we're living within a story. And we're living within that story. And I see that which all is the not time. Yours. Yeah. 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 So, if people come from financial planning or from uh, looking at their money or looking at their business and they come in my door, mm. we start to look at the stories they're telling yeah. internally and externally yeah. uh, that they don't realise because they're habituated, yeah. uh, they don't realise they're telling them to the degree they are mm. that, is, that has got their world in a, in a holding pattern. Yeah, yeah. They think it's happening to them from external circumstances. Yeah, uh, yeah, having to them, but it's actually it's not. They're causing it. It's, it's, it's their, their response their to. Response. So our biggest thing in mind matters, uh, which is a foundational ingredient, mm -hmm. is is learning to respond with ability mm -hmm. to whatever the events are. So um, from the reacting to events, mm -hmm. which is reactive and fight flight and panicky. Mm -hmm. um, and fear-based, whereas when we are learning to to respond, like with money, we learn to build yeah. a nest, small, and then it starts to grow. Yeah. And so you learn you learn to be sturdy. But you, I think most people, I think, would you agree in finance that people's um, relationship with money and the relationship with themselves changes as the money grows? They change their idea of themselves, the yeah. idea of the world. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think I think there's a, there's a thing there where the more money you make, uh, the more there's a tendency to spend rather than putting away uh, more. So you you know you increase your lifestyle expenses and those sorts of things. Yeah, and that's a trap in itself, isn't it? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Keeping up with the Joneses. Yeah. yeah, that sort of stuff. Who were the Joneses? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're all trying to keep up. Were they next to you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's uh, like one one key thing I've uh, observed around uh, finance is that it, the importance of flow uh, and even seeing someone that's in actually this so this is unique uh, where you see someone that's in a very very comfortable position um, really good money money coming in as in that flow and yet they're not spending it and it's building up and up and up and it's they're not using it appropriately either and they've got. And when I say where it's building up, it's actually building up way too much. It should be spent or it should be invested. And it's so and, is and, it inefficient? Yeah, and yeah, and it's inhibiting their their lifestyle. They could do so much more with their money, and 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 please, they want to do more with their lifestyle. But and I think the things that I commonly see is that they don't want to lose it. Those sorts of things. Fear. Yeah, fear. If yeah. I spend it, yeah, or if I stop work, in our. Um, May I add a bit of psychology? Go for it. The, 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 it links to, in our language, uh, what we call toward and away from motivation. Okay. So people who build their wealth, their world, based on getting away from not wealth, yep. or poverty, or struggle, yep. uh, build it in a different way than somebody who's building it toward creating something extraordinary and wonderful yep. that's designed yeah. to cause a lifestyle and a way of being yeah. that is free, happy, and playful. Yeah. The ones, so what happens with the ones that are running from poverty, so it might be somebody who's got an extraordinary enterprise, yeah. but they can't stop work. Or they've got an extraordinary enterprise, but they are very, very mean or tight, um, and so they're not easy or fun to work with. Yeah. Um, yeah. And all the family go, I can't, we never see you. You don't yeah. care about us. Yeah. Um, and then the horrendous, uh, outcomes can be, which we, we, we recognize, is um, that, that they'll get to a point where I'm getting this far away, from, I'll put it this way, there's the camera, yeah. this far away from poverty, I'm this far away from poverty, yeah. I'm this far away from poverty, 
remembering the motivation is to get away from poverty. Yeah, then no suddenly there's there. no poverty. Yeah. And they can't get out of bed in the morning or they'll sabotage mm. their world. And a lot of people say, oh my God, that's me. Yeah. But they'll sabotage it to bring it back to where there's a little fear again. Then they're up and they're out of bed and they're busy. Yeah. And so that goes with, if I sell my enterprise, oh my God, that's scary. Even though they've got an abundance, it's not about the amount of money. And or if I take some time out, oh, I can't afford to. Yeah. And so there's stories. Yeah of what they tell themselves they live within causes their experience with money. And 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 what we're talking about is habits. And habits yeah. can be both a positive thing, uh, brushing your teeth every morning, yeah, uh, or, um, or yeah, just this really terrible habit that you don't brush your teeth every morning, you keep forgetting it, it's like a what's above thing. Like, and that's the same with finance, isn't it? Is that if you get in really good habits, it's that compounding effect, which as Spanish pointers, we love compounding. It's a really groovy <coughs> word for us. Sorry, it is. It's, uh, it is. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just that habit and building, building, building. Yeah, and 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 like all habits, I'm sure you'd agree that they are hard to break. And so, if you've got the bad habits, absolutely, it's it's a tough one. Mm. So, learning to change yeah. or break the habit, uh, that is work. Yeah, and it's incredibly worthwhile. And and I'll, and a plug for you too, Rex. In terms of, <laughs> it's hard to do it by yourself. Uh, and everyone yeah. needs a coach. Uh, that's what my comments would be. Um, or a really great mentor to help you with those sorts of things. Yeah, Yeah, because if your hand's disappearing into the fridge to grab a Tim Tam, you can get the other hand to grab it and pull it back out again. Oh, <laughs> all the time. All the but time. everybody knows what's going to happen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, you need somebody else yeah. to... To lock the fridge. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you so much, Rex. You're most welcome. Thank you so much for your time and for that extra uh, little bit of uh, GNT conversation because I, I, yeah. I, like, you know, we're having that conversation after we did that last clip uh, and I said, oh, we've got to talk more here. There's just so much more great stuff and especially talking about like our careers as well. Like, there's a thank lot of synergies you. there. So right. thank you again, Rex. Great much appreciated. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Rex. Cheers, bye. Hey, brother. For more wisdom, help and support with your financial future, reach out to Glenn at fairwayfinancial.com.au.